Hello everyone, welcome back to another video here on Play on GAA with me, Seamus Brady. In this video, we're going to be talking about the action from the Leinster Hurling Championship, which happened last weekend, starting with the obvious one, the one that grabbed all the headlines, Galway against Kilkenny. Now, I know what you're thinking. I know you're thinking about the handshake. That's on another video here on Play on GAA. My thoughts about the handshake between Brian Cody and Henry Shefflin and what we can take from it. What, you know, what does that really mean? But this is purely going to be about the match and what a result for Galway it was. Beating Kilkenny by a point, 124 to 317 in Pierce Stadium in Tune. It was a fast start for Galway, three points to nail up. Concanon hit the third point. Other highlights in the first half. A brilliant goal by Owen Cody where he showed nothing but just pure determination. Finton Burke hit a wonderful sideline, which was Canning-esque. Kilkenny got their second goal, courtesy of Billy Ryan. Lovely check back after being set up by Owen Cody. Sue squared it across to him. Ryan checked back, buried it. And he's getting better and better for Kilkenny. Joseph Cooney hit a boomer right before halftime to make it 117-2-7. to And at halftime, TJ Reid was taken off, who was really shut down by Dahi Burke in that first half. Fantastic again by Burke. Then there was a classy Alan Murphy point straight after the start of the second half. And that was followed up by a goal chance for Galway. What a save by Owen Murphy that was. It was Tom Monaghan who took the shot. He was played through Monaghan, took it well in the stride, hit the ball well. He hit it low down into the corner, but Murphy just showed he's like a cat between the sticks. Fantastic save. Um, Dan Kilkenny went down the other end and Walter Walsh hit a lovely point. And Kilkenny tagged on two more with Owen Cody getting the second one to level the game at 118 to 215. Concannon hit a lovely point to put Galway back in front and Cooney tagged on another to make it 120 to 215. And then Concannon hit another lovely one to make it 123 to 217. And it looked like Galway were pretty much home and hosed after Kilkenny's point, but it was not to be. And you can never write off Kilkenny. John Donnelly hit a shot for goal and it squeezed in past Dana Murphy to be, make it 123 to Kilkenny's 317. But from the next puck out, Aina Murphy took it really quickly. The, a lot of people saying that he shouldn't have been allowed to take it. I think it's grand that he took it. Uh, the puck out. Uh, Paddy Deegan, in my opinion, felled Tom Monaghan. Controversial, Shane Dowling and Derek McGrath don't agree with me. I think Deegan absolutely took Monaghan out, and rightfully so, it was given as a free, which Connor Cooney converted his sixth point of the day, and Galway win by 124 to 317. I think it's kind of karma almost, not necessarily on Kilkenny, but for Galway. I mean, you think about the Wexford game, they were so screwed over by the referee that maybe if there was a 50-50 decision, maybe it's karma kind of evening it up again, that maybe they get the rub of the green this time. Obviously, Brian Cody at the end was furious. He was given out to the referee column lines, but Galway win. 124 to 317. I think these two sides will play each other again in the championship, probably in a Leinster hurling final. As for the other two games, Wexford put a beating on Leash, 621 to 12 points. Lee Chin was back in the side. He hit a beauty on 12 minutes. Connor McDonald got the first goal on the 14th minute, batted it in. And at halftime, it was Wexford 110, Leash 7 points. Leash hit the first point from play in the 43rd minute, showing just how terrible they were in this game. They've put it up to Wexford in the past. They nearly beat Dublin. They are not out of the same league as Wexford when they play at their best. They did not play at their best in this game. Ryan Milani got that point to make it 112 to 8 points. Shortly after that, Fierker Fennell, who had been doing a really good job on Rory O'Connor, he was sent off on his second yellow card, and after this, the floodgates opened. Wexford hit five goals in the last 20 minutes. Rory O'Connor got the first. Mark Fanning hit two penalties. Dermot O'Keefe got another one, and Kevin Foley got the last one, cleaning up after a good save by Ender Rowland and putting it into the back of the net. So Wexford win that game, bouncing back from their defeat to Dublin. Then in the other game, Dublin played against Westmead at Cusick Park in Mullingar. And Dublin won by 27 points to Westmead's 116, continuing their 100% record in the Leinster Championship. I mean, it's been a very, very good Leinster Championship for Dublin. They've absolutely done everything that they needed to do. 
And yeah, they'll be absolutely delighted that they have won this game as well. In the 12th minute, Niall O'Brien hit a nice score for Westmead to make it two points to one, but that was the only time that Westmead would lead. One of the scores of the game came from Killian Doyle from his own. He hit the ball over the bat from his own 45, showing the insane level of talent that this guy has. And his brother, Tommy, is one of the best fullbacks he'll come across. He held Ronan Hayes scoreless from play. And not only that, he hit a boom of a point himself. Danny Sutcliffe hit the last point of the first half to put Dublin in at halftime, 12 points to 11 ahead. So Westmead were right in this game at halftime. Donald Burke and Reem McBride were extremely impressive in the second half. Westmead, though, got a goal from Niall O'Brien. And I think that there's a blueprint here for how to cause Dublin problems. Think back to Leash's goal in the first game in Parnell Park, the goal that came from their corner forward, Mark Dowling. That came from a long ball being fired in. Sean Brennan struggled to deal with it, and Dowling was there to bat it home. Very similar with this one. A long ball fired in, which Niall O'Brien gets the break and scores a pretty soft goal to concede for Dublin. Dublin hit the last five points of the game. Crummy's boomer was the last and most notable one. Dublin three from three now in the Leinster Championship, and they move on to the net, their last two games, which are the hardest ones, in my opinion. They play now Galway and Kilkenny. And in my opinion, They'll need to win one of those two to get into the Leinster final. And it will be very interesting to see if they can do it. So, yeah, that's my opinion of all the three games which happened in the Leinster Hurling Championship over the last weekend. Don't forget as well, I'm also going to be doing another video talking about the incident between Brian Cody and Henry Shefflin. So make sure you watch that and give me your opinions on it. Until the next video, guys, here on Play on GAA, take care.